Hey, what's up, my little Thomas Jones? How y'all doing today? What if you are Tristan? Baby, you are up to your old tricks. Now, what am I talking about? If you guys don't know, Chloe posted pics of herself for this magazine. What's the name of the magazine? And let me just say this. Chloe looks amazing. Chloe looks unbelievable. To the point of no, really, she does look unbelievable because she looks unrecogni unrecognizable. But they are beautiful pics. One day, not even one day, I feel like 20 years from now, we are literally going to have a talk about face app, face tune, and all these things that make us look like we just left the plastic surgeon's table. I'm saying, I'm saying it's cute, but come on now, right? Everybody on the internet can't look the same, all right? But let's get back into this. Chloe posted these pics. Tristan was like, 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 liking, right? Which one I thought, Man, that's really abusive. You liking the pics that don't look nothing like me. But two, I was like, oh my God, does this mean that Tristan and Chloe are on good terms? No, it means the ain't-ish ninja is up to his old tricks, liking her photos to distract him from the fact that Marley just blew up the spot. What am I talking about? Oh yeah, Marley had some stuff to say. Listen, Tattletales, I wanna thank you for Shane is because she completely blew up Tristan's spot. And just like Jordan Craig, when she was in court, was sitting there saying, Tristan paid me not to see other men. Tristan did this, Tristan did that. I believe Jordan actually said, well, if we really want to be real, Tristan da 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 da. Marley said, if you really want to be real, baby, let me tell you what's Gucci. So listen, him liking her pictures, I think was just a distraction. Let's start from the top and uh, go down. Where are we? Um, oh, okay. So here's the first photo, right? Picture of Chloe looking cute. She looks just like Taylor Swift, bangs and everything. Chloe said, fun fact, I wore clip on bangs for the shoot. It was fun to give a different look and not be committed. I'm surprised by how much I like the bangs even though they changed the shape of my face. Chloe posted this, I don't even know which way I'm posting. One side, there's a picture. Chloe posted these pictures and said the clip and bangs changed the shape of your face. Chloe, we all have face app. And I wouldn't be surprised if that wasn't the bangs. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, download face app and just know you'll never have to put makeup on again and all your Instagram pic pictures will look beautiful. Only thing is you'll look like every other influencer, but hey, who cares? It's Instagram, right? Go have fun. We even have a bangs app in FaceApp, Chloe. You cannot be serious. Beautiful pictures. Does it look like you? It looks like your cousin, twice removed on your dad's side. Yeah, the dad's side that you don't know. Anyway, but I didn't mean it like that, y'all. I didn't mean it like that. I meant to say that it's like a very, very distant cousin. Don't drag me. Not the fact. Chloe knows who her dad is. It's Robert Kardashian. So anyway, these are some of the pictures that Tristan is liking up a storm. Chloe's body looks amazing. I will say this also. Chloe was made to be skinny. Again, it looks good on her, but can we all just say too, you can never tell what things look like in pictures, all right? But let's get into the meat. So Tristan's just like, 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 liking. And I was like, what is Tristan trying to distract Chloe from? What could be the issue? Until, until we came across this. Marley has been sending, posting Snapchats from two years ago. She's been posting pictures from two years ago. Looks like Tristan was sending thirst traps back and forth, right? Now I said, I know Chloe sees that and I know Chloe's getting annoyed. Tristan could be liking to distract her from that. But then Marley said, okay, enough. She said, posted pictures of her body saying this was built in the gym. Now we can say what we want about Chloe's body, but I think we can agree it was not built in the gym. It was enhanced in the gym, but the plastic surgeon that pumped her booty up, sucked it out, all the augmentation up, like head to toe, right? And it was enhanced in the gym. Marley is saying that her body is 100% natural, but it goes even further. And this is the kicker. Are y'all ready for this? Sit down, sit down. So Marley put, summer bodies are built in the winter, starting my year off in the gym. I set a personal goal to tone up and started working out at least five times a week during the holidays. Diet and consistency are key if you wanna see results. 
comment your fitness related questions below. Happy New Year. I will say this. Yeah, she did inspire me to get into the gym right before I ordered more guacamole for move service. But one, one sis Snyder said, is this what, and it was in the gym. They said, is this where you met Tristan Thompson at the gym? Lol, had a one night stand and had his baby, <laughs> right? Marley crap, clapped back with a quickness and said, I was definitely not a one night stand and I never was his trainer. Those are complete lies and false narratives that was created. I repeat, I definitely wasn't a one night stand. Now there is plenty of evidence, we don't know the exact dates, but there's plenty of evidence that Tristan Marley for messing around for a good five or six months before she became pregnant with his child. I think, why do I feel like when I said that Tristan is sitting there saying, see, told y'all, y'all really think I'm gonna meet some random and just start going raw? We was messing around. Like, I feel like Tristan probably used that as an excuse, like, it wasn't a random, we could trust her. There's no need for you getting a test, Chloe. Why do I feel like Tristan literally argued at the fact that he was being safe by having a long-term relationship, right? But they were messing around for a good five months before she became with child. I know everybody want to judge her, but y'all need to ask your moms and dads how long they were messing around before they, you might've been the one that jump-started their marriage. I'm just saying, right? And she was never his trainer. Those are complete lies and the false narratives that were created. So let's ask ourselves, who created the false narrative? Who, who, who said the owl? We know Kim did, but Kim will just say anything. Chloe tried to too. Have you noticed that every single girl Tristan messes with, there is a false narrative created. They were coming on to him. They weren't nothing. They trapped Tristan. He ne they need to be chased away. When the truth is, Tristan picks out these women, he courts the women, he wines and dines the women, and he keeps saying they're not together, it's nothing, it's just for show. And then when he's done with the women, that's when he runs behind his mommy Chloe's legs and he's like, eh, get them away from me. And then Chloe, the Kardashians, because this is my understanding, and all their henchmen go after these girls and either silence them. I know in some, listen, let's also not forget that when it comes to this, they went out of their way to try to make Marley seem like she was nothing. As a matter of fact, people criticize Marley for not clapping back with the Kardashians, doing an exclusive interview, doing all this stuff. But I will say this, now that things have kind of blown over, Marley might have given anyone who's going to war with the Kardashians a blueprint. You don't engage. They spread lies, they spread false narratives, they do whatever you don't engage. It's almost like they wait for you to engage so they can crush you and do this and that. You don't engage and it just blows over. Marley enjoyed the first year of her baby's life. I don't know what she was going through personally, but I will say that through all of this, she definitely looks like a winner. Let's not forget Marley actually said in court documents that she thought she was infertile, right? So she has the baby she wants, the baby, just makes a Mexican cute baby, and the baby is going to be tall, for whatever reason. Yeah, I know you're dealing with the fact that he, it's by that dirt bag. And you got a small, I think it's only 10,000 a month, right? Small child support. But let's also not forget, Marley was living in a million dollar condo before she even met Tristan. So my whole point is, I don't think the girl is hurting for money. But again, she did show a blueprint on how to handle the Kardashians, just completely ignore them. And now she's coming out saying that they're lies and false narratives. And Tristan all of a sudden is liking all of Chloe's pics and trying to be in her face. Y'all, I will say this, Marley handled this a very, very dignified way. I think that there's lots of things that if she wanted to start talking, she could start talking. I do think there's lots of ways she can embarrass Tristan and via Tristan embarrass Chloe. And for whatever reason, she chooses not to do it. But I do think that Tristan's latest liking spree, again, my opinion, is trying to distract the fact from Chloe that Marley's not being as quiet as she used to be, y'all. And Marley sits down and does a tell all. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I do think this though, the more Tristan ignores Theo and doesn't handle his father capabilities, 
I do think that eventually Marley's going to lash out and speak on that. And that, in the long run, even though Chloe doesn't see it, it's going to be the most damaging thing for her. Why? Because the one thing Chloe wants more than Tristan laying in her bed is a man she can be proud of laying in her bed. But we all know that ain't never going to happen because as long as you got Tristan laying there, allegedly, we don't know if Tristan's laying there. See, but if, but if the history is indicative of the future, yeah. Good luck on that one. Good luck on that one. Just work on just getting him to lay in your bed every night and then see if you can work on him having moral hygiene. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to you later.